Hello fellow teachers! This is going to be a very fast video guide and tutorial on how to make videos for your students with audio and animation in some direction and so forth. Now if you don't have a built-in screen recorder as is what is available on Macintoshes, you can use Screencast-O-Matic and it's free to use and I find it to be very effective. So start in your browser and search for screen cast o -matic and uh, choose Screen Recorder. And you'll notice it's available on Chromebook, Mac, and Windows. Very nice, multi-platform. Click on Free, Launch Free Recorder. And there will be a series of pop-ups that might prompt you to download the software if it's not already on your machine. Okay, you will see a region that you can uh, move around by uh, clicking on the handles in the corner. And I'm going to choose screen record only. We don't need both. And uh, so I am going to switch to my uh, PowerPoint presentation here and I'm going to select a region of my slides. Now I'm not going to use play, I'm just going to go through the slides as normal. The resulting video will have only the area here within the uh, the lines. And uh, make sure that the audio is peaking up and down in this little um, uh, audio meter here is, is um, hearing your voice. And let's see, when you're ready to record, hit the rec button. You'll get a countdown and this is you recording being recorded live. Now I recommend in PowerPoint you have the draw ribbon selected and choose a nice color for yourself and have this be around. The students can see the cursor movement and say uh, and be sure to use it. Say hey today's math lesson and it is recording the mouse as well. You can go off screen here, click on the next one and start talking about things. Now, as a, as a pro tip, please make your videos less than 10 minutes. Students do not like to watch things that, that is much longer. Their attention span kind of drops off. And it's true of adults too. Use as little text as possible and don't read every single thing they can read. Use, uh, talk and use the pen as much as possible. So if you're gonna maybe make a little math lesson here, and talk about y equals mx plus b is the form and here is an example of a real equation 2x plus 1 we start here at the 1 and then we go up 2 and over 1 up 2 and over 1 you can see that their eyes can follow along and we have uh, roughly a line here that talks about some sort of topic this doesn't have to be math it can be science it could be English whatever you want and when you're done recording, click on this little button down here. And then click on Done. Now then, it has automatic mechanism for saving uh, to your computer or automatically uploading it to uh, YouTube. So I'm going to click on this. And then I like to have the video saved right on my own machine. Then I have a little bit of control over it. I might be able to make some edits and so forth. Uh, you can see here they have some editing where you can do what's called trimming. If you have a lot of dead space at the beginning of your video, you can just go like this and cut it off. Or if you have a lot of dead space at the end, so forth, like that. Uh, save video as. And here you can name the recording, my first lesson, call it whatever you want. And then when you uh, click on publish, it does its thing. It'll take longer if you have a very long video. And then browse folder will take you to where the file ended up. In this case, it put it right on my desktop. And so when I view it, just to make sure it worked out, and this is you recording, being recorded live. Now I recommend 2x plus 1. It looks like it recorded. And uh, we can see in the lower left corner is a watermark. 
Again, not a problem. So there you go. Uh, if you don't like using PowerPoint, you can also use OneNote. I really like OneNote. This is my main thing because you get a little bit more screen space and it's very easy to draw, very easy to add text, bring in graphics, um, anything that you want. So PowerPoint, OneNote, either is good. This serves as a very nice ad hoc whiteboard. All right, fellow teachers, hope this was helpful to you.